In this video, we're going to explore the math.trunk function in JavaScript. And uh, these are functions that are built in into JavaScript. So these are ready-made functions that we can use quickly and have them ready to, to apply to our variables. And this is a really nice function as well because this solves a, a common issue that may, many might have using floor or ceiling. So let's start an explore here. So what is basically the math.trunk function in JavaScript? So math.trunk or math.trunk function means math is related to numbers where we have a calculation and trunk stands for truncated. Basically what we do is if we have 4.5, it will not calculate or round it up or down, but it will just remove the decimal digits. So it will be from 4.5 by default, it becomes four. If you have 4.1, it will become one, uh, 4, sorry. If you have 1.2, it becomes 1, etc., etc. And this is basically the solution if you're using negative numbers and you're trying to floor or, or ceiling, you use the math.floor or math.ceiling or math.seal uh, functions in JavaScript. So let's start and explore this because this can be very, very useful for you, especially if you've seen my other videos related to floor and a ceiling of rounding a JavaScript number. So let's create here a constant, and this constant is a new constant. Let's assume we are calculating the amount of boxes we have, and we have an amount of, let's say we are buying uh, milk boxes or milk by the box, meaning that we have big storage milk boxes. And what we want to do is we want to calculate only the amount of milk boxes we have, but we don't want to calculate, let's say, if we have 9.5 milk boxes, it would mean that's basically nine boxes and uh, a half box, let's say, if there's only, if there's 12 packages or 12 milk cartons in one box, it would mean that a half box would have six items in there. However, we don't want to calculate the six, we will calculate it separate. We only look at the boxes that are unopened. So we say here, we have the milk boxes here, we have here a value of 9.5, meaning that there are basically nine full packages of with cart, carton milk, milk in here, and we have one with a half left, all right? So then we have another one here. What we have here is basically console log, console log, and in here we're going to put in the milk boxes. We're going to show these values here. Let's save this. And once we save this and refresh, you can see nothing happens here, but open up our developer tab. You can see we have 9.5. All right, so that looks nice. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use the trunk of the math.trunk for truncating the value of milk boxes here. So we say here, let's copy this, put it in here. And then we say here, math is capital letter M. And we say trunk. And then we close these all together all right that's correct and save this once we save this refresh we can see now this works nicely so we have here the 9 the 9.5 and then the second one which is the one that's truncated which is 9 so what happened if i change this to 9.111 save this refresh and as you can see it's it maintains so let me show you some differences if we have another one let's say we have floor and we have ceiling so we say here we have floor here we have seal for ceiling and we have another one just say round meaning round is the default you just watch my other videos going to this so we have this one here so you will see now we have all different numbers what will happen let's save this and refresh you can see here now the first one is round we just correct it just round it to the to the nearest value the second one or the, or the next one after that is uh, this is um, floor, yes, am I correct? Floor, yes, because it goes down. You can see floor, and then we have ceiling. So ceiling goes to 10. As you can see, even though it forces up, and then we have the nine here. This is just a truncated. So if we do this, let's do another one, four, let's refresh here, and you can see here everything is same. All right, so what happened now if we do the negative? Because this is a very important part, because I refer to here, these two, work differently than you would expect yes watch my other videos we're going to do that so let's save this we have now a negative number and then we're going to show this and if we refresh you can see now the negative number here this is minus four and this which is let's say here 
the round, which goes automatically to four, which is fine. The floor, instead of going, you would say four with the floor, it should go down to 4.1. No, it goes down, it goes up to five because it goes away from the zero. If it's a negative number, it will go away from the zero. Uh, sorry, it will, uh, yeah, it will go away from the zero. Remember that, that's a negative number because it's floor. Floor always goes down. It forces, goes down. So negative 4.1 is going more down is five. I hope you you get this one. And the re this is very important here now. Exactly the opposite works here with ceiling. The ceiling would say, well, it should be minus five, not minus four, four. And the reason why it goes down, because ceiling always goes closer to the zero, or always goes up, up uh, upward. And 4.1 upward is basically four and not five, because five is going away from the zero and and the ceiling always goes towards zero and higher. And this is, so this is correct. However, you can see here, if you look at this one here, our trunk, there's no problem with this. And this is very important because you might have situations where you wanna, you're forcing it to round up or down and you're thinking everything is fine because you assume that these here works. However, then you realize that these floor and, ce and ceiling functions are not working as expected because once it's a negative number, you get the exact opposite effect, which can confuse your formulas. For this, if you are really scared with this, go and use trunk. You remove always the number and forces the number whatever is in there. So it will only get the first number, no matter whatever is at after the digits or the decimal points, does not care, doesn't matter at all. So this is the reason why trunk is being used as well, because this will avoid the issues that these two functions have with negative numbers. So I hope you enjoyed these kind of videos, and I hope this will clarify a bit more about math trunk and why this is being applied compared to the others and what the differences are. If you have questions still regarding to this, I don't blame you, it can be confusing, put them in the comment section below. And if you like these kind of videos, subscribe to my channel where you get everyday different videos about JavaScript. And of course, if you are absolutely interested in Chart.js, this is something you should explore. Check out my Udemy course in the description box. It covers everything about Chart.js and all these topics that I'm covering here about JavaScript are being used in Chart.js as well because these are very applicable in Chart.js.